everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be unboxing and trying on the products in the BoxyCharm by Ipsy for May of 2023. Now if you're unfamiliar with BoxyCharm by Ipsy, it is a monthly makeup and beauty subscription where you get five full-size beauty products each month for $28 plus a $1.99 handling fee. Now there are two power picks that BoxyCharm by Ipsy chooses for you, and then you get to choose three of the other products on choice day, which is usually the second and third of the month. Now this is my PR unboxing of the box, so this was sent to me free for review. I do also pay for this box. However, this month is a Icon Box month, and when you upgrade to the Icon Box, you get that box instead of this box once a quarter. So this month, on my paid for one will be the icon box, not this. But we get to do the PR one, which is still super exciting. And with that, welcome back to all the sub box lovers out there. Welcome if you're new. My name is Katrina, and on my channel, I unbox lots of different subscription boxes, including lots of beauty boxes. So if you like these boxy charm by Ipsy videos, definitely make sure to give the video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. And let's dive in. I am so happy that you're here today, hanging out with me, trying on makeup. Now, um, you may see that I do have a little bit of makeup on my face, and that's because I started this look using my Ipsy Glam Bag that I got for NPR, that that video went up yesterday. Um, so now we're gonna finish off the look with the Boxy Charm by Ipsy. So if you haven't seen that video, check it out so you can see how, how we've gotten to this stage in the makeup process. I do also like to preface my try-on videos by saying that I am not a beauty guru, I am not an MUA, I'm just a normal, regular human being trying on makeup, so it's not gonna be professional or perfect, but hopefully it will be fun. Now the Boxy Charm by Ipsy just comes in an Ipsy box. I do think that they're gonna be updating their branding and that that will look different in the future, but for now, this is what the little sneak peek looks like. This month's theme is Let Yourself Bloom. It's got lots of fun colors and florals, which I am here for. So the very first thing that we are going to try out today is from Trey Luce Beauty, and this is a highlighter duo. So this is the Playa Dreams Duo Highlighter. I believe there's one cream and one powder inside. So beautiful blue packaging like a lot of Trey Luce beauty stuff does. And then this is what it looks like inside. There is a mirror and then the cream, which I actually really appreciate, has a little flap, a little plastic flap. That way when you're using your powder, if it has any kickback, it doesn't get into the cream, which I honestly super appreciate because I do feel like a lot of times the powder gets into the cream and then it's not great. Now, I'm not gonna use the cream today because I've already like powdered my face. So we're gonna use this highlighter today. All right, pull my hair back with some bunny ears and now let's dive into this highlighter. That is so stunning. At first, I was like, I don't think anything's showing up. I think it's just because I needed to like break the first layer of it. But as you can see, there is a little bit of powder that went around. So that's why I'm super grateful for that little cover there. Now, I don't tend to use as many cream products, so I probably won't use that as much. But I do think that that's a really, like, you see it. Like, it's there. It's like pow in your face, still kind of natural. I like that it also has, like, it's a light, for my skin complexion, it's a light highlight shade, but it's not white. It has a little bit of color to give me a little bit of life, um, which I really, really appreciate. And I think that that looks really pretty on my face. All right, now let's add some eyeshadow. We have a palette from Iconic London, and this is their Beachside Babe eyeshadow palette. So I'm very excited to see what's inside. It's just white packaging. Ooh, so we got a full length mirror there, and those are the shades. Lots of shimmers, lots of colors. Lots of fun that you can do with that. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what I want to do. <laughs> I'm very pink today, but I don't think I'm going to do a pink look because there's not really a lot of pink to do there. So I think we're going to have some fun. I'm going to be honest. I think we might go kind of blue with the look today because this is like the beach babe. So I feel like I, I really want to use that color and maybe even that yellow. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to figure it out. All right. I'm going to start off like, I don't know if it's semi unconventional, but I'm going to go in with this blue lagoon shade. I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush just to kind of get blue into my crease. I would do it with a deep ocean, but the deep ocean is just so dark that I feel like that's going to look not the way I want it to. So I'm going to start with this fluffy brush in that blue lagoon. I might have to go with like in a flat packer brush to add more color where I want it, but I just want to get some blue on my lid first. All right, so we got the blue. I feel like I look very <laughs> 60s, 70s with like the pink and the blue. Um, to be honest, I kind of have ignored the fact that there's a lot of pink going on with this eye look. I'm just doing whatever I want. Um, I definitely got the blue shadow there. Maybe not the easiest to work with, but I'm using a shimmer in, 
and blending it like it's not supposed to be blended. So to be honest, it's probably my fault. All right, then I just wanna take a tiny bit of this Ocean Deep shade there to deepen the crease. All right, now that we got the blue, I wanna add in some of the yellow. I'm just gonna make this a crazy look, y'all. We're gonna go into this like paradise shade, which is like almost like a green yellow shimmer. And I'm gonna work that from my inner corner into the center of my lid. Ooh, we got a little bit. It's kind of greener than it is yellow. It's not, I'm, probably if I did that with my finger, it'd be much more pigmented. I wanna take the Vacay Glow and add that to the very center of the lid to add that like super yellow golden right there. Actually, I'm gonna take my finger for that one. I'm gonna stop there. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I like this look. I'm gonna be honest. It has nothing to do with the shot I was just having fun and I the eyes with the rest of my look does not go at all, but I'm having fun playing with color The blue might have been a mistake. I don't really know. I don't think it's a horrible look It's just I need to figure out what I was doing. Um, that being said the eyeshadows are fine I think that the metallics probably work better using your finger um, I it's not my favorite, like it, it takes a little bit of work. It's not the most blendable, it's not the most like whatever, but it's their shadows are nice and I'm excited to play with it. The color story, I don't know if it's something I gravitate towards all the time. I really love this warm sand shade, but I feel like nothing else in here is like my everyday shade. I mean, maybe I could do that with like the warm sand and oyster for like a more neutral look, but I wanted to do something a little bit different out of the comfort zone today, even though the neutral probably would have gone better with the full look. I just wanna do something fun. All right, up next we got some liner from Lovecraft Beauty. This is their Dark Dimension Dual Tip Liquid Liner. Now, it doesn't say any shade name, so I'm just gonna go in assuming that this is black. Yeah, there's one tip that way, which is I think a thicker tip, and then maybe it's a thinner tip on the other side. Yeah, the other side just has a thin tip, and well, that applied thicker, but it's just because of the way that I did it. Both black. I was kind of hoping one of them would be a fun color, like maybe a purple, since this is purple, but it's fine. Let's go in and add a wing. These might be the worst wings I've done since I've done a makeup try-on video. I don't even want to show you, like, how they... First of all, this one's, like, decent. This one, I don't... I don't even know. Um, these don't perform well on top of the shimmer shadows, uh, particularly the chubby end. Interestingly, the, they perform very differently in formula. So this one was a lot less wet. It was a lot more chunky and a lot like, no, I didn't like that side. I actually like the thinner side better because it actually like was putting pigment on. Um, it was much more liquid. I preferred that side of it better, but you can still like see all the shimmer through the liner and with my favorite liner, that's not an issue that I have. So, I don't know. Maybe if I was wearing a shadow that wasn't shimmery, I would like it, but I'm, a, I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little disappointed because of the way that it performed on top of that. Just not my favorite, and I don't, they just didn't, maybe it's because I'm used to my type of liner and my, my thing, but I don't like the way it turned out. Maybe if I play around with it more, I will like it better, but in today's application and use, I did not, I wasn't the biggest fan of this. All right, added a little bit of mascara to finish off the look. Definitely got a huge chunk of mascara in my hair. Thank goodness it's like day three hair, so it doesn't really matter. Wow, that is like, ah. Okay, that's that's what day three, day three hair will let you do stuff to it, but it is, mm. Anyway, this is the final look. Um, I still have a couple more products. Um, I don't know, I, I don't like the eyes with the rest of my face, but that's okay, that's fine, that's life. Now, the next product out is exciting. This is from Style Dry, and this is their Pineapple and Coconut Prep and Prime Polishing Primer. At first, I thought this was a face primer. It's not. I Thankfully, I read, and I did not put this on my face, that says Horsetail Plant Extract, and it, it smells so pineapple-y and coconutty and summery and yummy. Oh, it smells so, so good. Like one of the best smelling scents we've gotten in a box. Um, so basically, the horse plant extract is ideal for healthy looking hair and lets it feel nourished and soft. Um, this is perfect to use before your styling regimen. It doesn't really say what it does on it. Like, I guess it just primes for styling. Um, so you apply to wet or dry hair, place a small amount into the palm of your hands, and then rub hands together. Gently work into your hair and scalp. Make sure to show extra love to the hair ends. Um, oh, this is from the Netherlands, which is super cool. Um, and it smells really, really delicious. So excited to try this out on my hair. It's a very summery product. And then last but not least, we have a product from Beauty Stat. And this is their Universal C 
skin refiner. So it's basically like a vitamin C serum. So this is what it looks like. Um, it's clinically tested to decrease the look of fine lines and wrinkles and improve firm skin tone. So this is 100% pure stable vitamin C, which is delivered via patented delivery system, ensuring full strength results throughout the use with no degradation. Um, no ugly color change. This is one of the very few serums that has vitamin C where the vitamin C will stay potent because of their technology. I've heard about this one before. So a nice little pump um, and yeah, a nice little vitamin C serum. This one genuinely will like the will stay potent, which I think is super important. A lot of vitamin C serums, they won't. So a nice little skincare product. All right, so that is everything in the BoxyCharm by Ipsy box for May. Again, there was an upgrade, so I feel like whenever there's an upgrade, this box isn't bad, but it's not gonna be as good as the Icon box. That being said, which I already unboxed earlier this week if you wanna check out. Um, I think my favorite thing was the Trey Luce highlighter. I thought that was really, really great. The Iconic London palette is really cute. May maybe not my favorite formula, I think the serum is really exciting. This hair stuff smells so good. And then I just, I'm not the biggest fan of the liner. Like it's not bad, but I feel like I just need to play with it more because it didn't really work out <laughs> in the look today. So definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What did you think of the BoxyCharm by Ipsy box for May, my PR version? What do you think of the look? I think it's a flop. I think the eye look is a flop. I'm not gonna lie. I. Maybe you'll disagree, but I feel like I should have gone pink or neutral. It's okay though, cause we had fun and we played with color and it's makeup, I'm just gonna take it off right after this. Or I'm gonna go to the Amazon hub to pick up a package and then I'll take it off. We'll figure that out after I'm done filming. <laughs> but definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future uploads. I have some other beauty videos coming soon that are not BoxyCharm slash Ipsy, so if you wanna check those out. And I'll see you in my next video.